What makes absolutely 0% sense to you? How people can be such absolute cunts to complete strangers. Working in retail has made me bitter. If you're only bitter then I don't think you've worked there long enough. I would describe myself as a broken shell of a man who has lost all hope in society. I feel like retail is why I'm single and 35. I can't deal with people anymore. I honestly think it should be required for everyone to work in retail for like a year so they know how thankless or tough that job can be. Would teach some people to treat employees better. How speakers work. I get that a cone vibrates at different frequencies etc etc. But how that single cone recreates instruments, voices, noises etc is just black magic to me. It's the fact that a pair of speakers can recreate an entire orchestra. The fact you can pick out each and every individual instrument. This is what blows my mind. Yes, that and how the same thing occurs with a vinyl record. Vinyl records work with stereo too, i.e. different sounds in right and left speaker. But how? 3D stereo is also black magic fuckery. Many years ago I used to use a voice chat program that tracked users' positions a game and would use algorithms witchcraft to alter their voices based on your their character positions a game. So if somebody was talking to me and their character was running past me from back to the left, I would hear them behind me to the left, then right in my left ear, then in front of me to the left. All won't just basic earbuds because the computer changed the sounds to match what your ear would hear if it actually happened IRL. It blew my mind when I first tried it. My friends and I spent like 15 minutes just talking and running our characters in different directions to listen to the 3D positional audio. What will really blow your mind is that you can turn a speaker into a microphone. That my spouse cannot close anything completely. Everything is halfway screwed on or has the top just sitting on it. So many things spilled and broken. I'm fucking constantly closing drawers and cabinets around here. Every day of my life. God damn it. So happy I'm not alone with this. Why? Can't. They. Simply. Shut. A door. Opposite spouse, he tightens everything so so much, I can't open them. Not using your blinker. Seriously, it's one movement of one finger. A device that literally tells every person on the road what's going to happen a few seconds in the future. And people ignore it so we all just keep guessing. Why people still, to this day, take up smoking? I can't answer for others but my story of addiction goes like this. Turning 18 meant being able to legally drink in the UK and opened up a new world to me. I was meeting more and more people and everyone knows the best place to socialize is the smoke shelter. As time progressed I would be offered cigarettes and I would smoke purely to be social. I started to buy my own on my way to the pub and oftentimes would finish a pack in the night with the aid of friends. One day I still had a single cigarette left, and the next morning got into a heated argument with my then-girlfriend, not for smoking, can't remember the nature of the argument. To escape the argument I found myself sat in her garden and felt from my phone only to find the packet and singular cigarette. The rest they say is history and I've tried numerous times to quit. Last attempt was three months until I hit a hard point in my life and I needed the chance to escape. A friend of mine said this to me, Cigarettes feel good when you're depressed, and after eating, and after sex, and when you're drinking, and when you're stressed. I still have no idea how phones and computers work. I've had it explained so many times, but I'm totally fine just being in awe of how cool it all is. My stepdad was hit by a drunk driver and blew both his knees apart. He eventually filed a lawsuit and won $500,000, but his health insurance company which he had been paying a premium towards every month for 20 years, demanded he pay them back the money that they had spent on his medical bills. After doing that and giving the lawyer his percentage of the winnings, we were left with $25,000. That is exactly how it works. All insurance that covers harm has a clause that they get reimbursed if you sue for that harm. That's why you sue for damages plus emotional distress lost work etc. Yep, friend in college was hit by a car while walking to class. They got all their medical bills covered plus 500k, I think, for emotional distress or whatever. Finished the degree and now working full-time and doesn't live extravagantly, just bought one decently nice new car. So I guess that money is just a nest egg now. Why there are certain foods for breakfast, 
lunch, and dinner. Why is cereal a breakfast item? Why is it not normal to eat it for dinner? Why are chicken biscuits a breakfast item? Can I have those for dinner? Seems appetizing for dinner. Pizza for breakfast is the best. Why is it frowned upon? People who frown upon pizza for breakfast are not people you need to have in your life. Flat Earthers Met one in real life the other day and couldn't decide if they were trolling or not and had to end the conversation and walk away. I read a Flat Earth book that my uncle gave my mom and honestly, if you didn't understand basic physics and geometry the author did a very good job of misrepresenting the science to prove his points. He takes basic concepts incorrectly applies them or misrepresents them, adds some math and boom, it looks like it could make sense. Why the traffic lights downtown are not synchronized so that drivers don't have to stop at every block for yet another red light. It causes endless gridlock at rush hours and needlessly wastes gas with all the stop and go traffic patterns throughout the city. I was actually thinking about this a lot when I was working downtown in my city recently. They definitely tried to figure out the most efficient way to manipulate traffic with the light systems, but it always feels like stop and go traffic with no they'll put into it. The only conclusion I could come to is that it might have something to do with the expected frequency of traffic on different roads. Still doesn't make sense to me. The issue is that traffic is a flow problem that's impossible to fully solve even without drivers being stupid, which they often are. A buddy of mine who's a civil engineer said that absolute best you can get is good flow in one direction, and even that is pretty hard to achieve without totally screwing over everyone else. Time. I will never be able to wrap my head around time. It must have started at some point. But what was there before time? And was there anything before that? And before that? One day there was nothing, the next day we have a massive universe. I can't comprehend it no matter how hard I try. People wanting flying cars. With as many bad drivers as there are on the ground, why would you want that in the sky? Most people think that having a flying car would be amazing because they picture being the only car in the sky. How some sodas drinks have so much sugar in them. Like what would it taste like without the sugar? Does I actually need that much flavoring to mask it or do we need that much to taste something? The carbonation makes the sugar taste less sweet. Try shaking in. Almost empty bottle of coke and drink it. The colder it is the less sugar it tastes as well. So warm flat coke tastes like diluted syrup. How easily people can convince themselves they know more about a topic than an expert who has devoted their life to a topic after a 10-minute Google search. My vet has a coffee mug that says, please don't confuse your Google search with my veterinary degree. That people still haven't learned to recycle and continue to litter everywhere they go. I mean is it that hard? Being a sports fanatic, to the point that if, your team, loses, it can ruin your week. Having to dress up and drive into an office to do a job that could easily be done from home. I get it, you want to make sure your employees are actually working. But fucking seriously, wouldn't you know by seeing the work hasn't been done? Why do I have to waste gas and time when the internet, you know, exists? I work in fire and EMS. When patients quit taking their blood pressure medication because they don't have high blood pressure anymore, that's because it's working nitwit, or seizure medication, or diabetes medication. Racism. I understand the evolutionary cause of it. But I think we would have grown past that in the last few hundred years. It boggles my mind that anyone can look at another human being and say, fuck them, solely based on skin color race. That you need experience for an entry-level position which you need for experience. I remember seeing a job at a while back that listed under the requirements. Five years experience with Windows 10. That came out in 2015. Literally noon has five years experience with Windows 10. Also, needing a car to get to a job but in order to get a car you need a job. People against vaccinations. This is such a first world thing. People have forgotten that polio was a very real threat even 30 years ago because they don't see it anymore. If you go to India or Nepal and say don't vaccinate your kids you would be chased by a mob of angry parents who think that you want their kids to die. What makes absolutely 0% sense to you? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.